Hello, why am I always too tall for the camera? <laughs> Hello my friends, it's Nina and today we are back in the kitchen. If you've watched a couple of my videos, you would know that I moved and that this is not the kitchen that you guys are used to. Welcome to my new kitchen. Looks very clean and bright. Also today, I'm going for a very primary colors inspired look. This is going to be a great time. I actually need my mic. I do need to tie my hair first. We don't want hair in our food. So sometimes on my channel, I like to cook and today is a cooking day. I am of course going to cook a Korean dish because I am Korean. This dish has been highly requested even though in Korean culture, it's one of the most simple things to make. It's still gonna be a challenge for me because I've never actually made this myself. I've eaten it a bunch of times, but I have not made it myself. Also, I'm squatting as always. Today, we are making the highly requested tteokbokki. This is tteok or Korean rice cakes. The kind that we'll be cooking with today is this long stick version. I got this from a local Korean store, but I'm sure you can find it in an Asian market. I live in California, so there are a lot of Asian markets around me. I'm not really sure about other states or countries. If you can find duck that's good. If not, I don't really have a solution for you. They can come fresh, they can come frozen, you can make it yourself. So tteokbokki is a very popular Korean street food. It's a very popular snack. People make it all the time, except me. It is a childhood dish for me. I've had it for as long as I can remember. I actually remember a period of time where I didn't eat tteokbokki for a while. I convinced myself that I didn't like it anymore. <laughs> I think there was just one day where I didn't have a good tteokbokki experience and it was too spicy and chewy and hot, like literally hot. This is a hot food. I'll three of those sensations together is not the greatest. But after a long period of time of not having tteokbokki, I had it again and I love it and it is an essential Korean food. But without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm tired of squatting. <laughs> this is pretty much the main ingredient besides tteok. This is gochujang and it is just a red pepper paste. I'm going to make the sort of traditional way of making tteokbokki, which includes fish cake. If you don't eat fish cake or you're vegetarian slash vegan, you can easily exclude it. But I don't want my Korean viewers yelling at me, there's no fish cake. And then in the back right here, I've been boiling some eggs. There are also another ingredient in tteokbokki. You don't need to have boiled eggs in your tteokbokki, but if you want, go for it. This takes a lot of time. I planned ahead. Food never can hire me. I think I'm going to turn it off now. I've been boiling them for as long as I've been filming, so I think it's fine. I'm going to just let it sit in there. I need a... I don't... What am I looking for? Y'all, I need a lid, but I can't find the lid. Did you hear my joints crack? <laughs> I need a lid for this. I'm gonna just let my eggs kind of cook. The fire is off, but I still want them to be completely done. I will also be using this bad boy right here. Usually when my family makes tteokbokki, we put it in like a nice pot. I'm sure people have various ways to do it. They might do it in a pan because it is pokung, which means stir frying. I am more familiar with just tossing ingredients in here and cooking it. And that's what I'm going to do for this video. Again, I don't have a recipe. I could probably benefit from following a recipe, but we didn't plan ahead. So the tteokbokki sauce is mostly spicy, but it also has a slight sweetness to it. So I do have sugar right here. I also do know that you need a little bit of soy sauce for a saltiness. This is currently the only soy sauce I can find. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, uh, I don't know where anything is. Oh, where's the freaking? where is anything? I'm gonna start with gochujang. I'm gonna put in about three tablespoons, I think. I need water first. I'm gonna fill this up with just a little bit of water, maybe like an inch of water. And now I'm going to put in the gochujang. This is one heaping tablespoon. Ah, there she goes. Gonna go two more. I think this might be enough to be honest. Did I wash my hands? I washed my hands multiple times, but I know I touched my hair and all that, so I'm just gonna wash my hands again. So I put in a third of a cup of gochujang into almost one and a half to two inches of water. I briefly checked the recipe. It called for four cups of water and a third of a cup of gochujang. That's pretty much what I did. But now it's become this sort of orange red liquid. And then I'm putting a tablespoon of sugar into this. Yeah. By the way, this is cold water. This is the same way I make tenjang jjigae. It's just cold water and then putting in the paste and kind of letting it mix around and then we boil it. The sugar is just going to make this a little more tasty. I can't even taste this. So I don't know if I'm doing this right. I can always add sugar later. I'm going to add the rest of the gochujang. Let it sit in there. Yeah, this might be too spicy, but that's okay. This already smells delicious. I do also need to add soy sauce. This is just going to add some saltiness, which will go well with that sweet sugar. Is that enough? I added almost a tablespoon. I think that should be fine. 
Mm, yes, so we're pretty much done with half of it This is the broth that the fish cake and the dock is going to go into and then we're going to add this later This is green onions by the way. It just adds a little bit of freshness to all this You can also add other ingredients to this you can add other shaped fish cake This is just the only one I had it's this round shape I'm more familiar with the flat fish cake, but I didn't have that I know some people put ramen noodles in their tteokbokki. I don't have ramen noodles, but feel free to go ahead and add that if you want I am going to show you guys what this looks like so here is our liquid it's this deep and i mixed all the gochujang sugar and soy sauce and that is pretty much it i'm gonna let this boil now here we go this is it this is the start of something new the first time i'm making tteokbokki let's hope that this goes well i'm gonna slightly cover it with a lid i know it helps it cook faster but it also kind of like does a weird scary overflowing thing weird scary overflowing thing I think I should wash some of this now. I have washed my green onions. I need a knife. It's making a weird sizzle sound. I'm not comfortable with that. Ah! Oh my god, it's cooking. I mean, I should have expected it, but it's still scary. I'm gonna let it... It's doing something! Oh my god, it just overflowed. I like when something bad happens, I just completely go frozen. <laughs> that was scary. Well, it completely like, I don't really know what happened, you guys. It kind of like did a thing and overflowed. I didn't know it would do that. This never happened in my cooking career. My confidence has kind of decreased, but the broth looks really good. I think this is why people follow recipes. My mistake was boiling this at the highest heat. Do not do that. This is not pasta. I should have started with a medium heat. Today's an off day. I'm usually a better chef than this. At this point, I'm looking at Mangchi's recipe. I'm letting it continue to cook at a low medium heat. I'm just scared of heat. I am cutting my green onions. How big? How big did she do it? I'm gonna cut very small and then make some chunks near the end. Whoosh. Make sure you're curving your fingers so that you don't cut yourself. So I'm cutting some green onions to put as a topping. It just adds a little freshness, but I'm also going to cut some thicker so I can put it into the broth. Just a little. And then I'll just cut these a little smaller. This is so satisfying. That went well. I think now I'm going to put in my duck. These need to cook, but it's also going to thicken up the soup as well. I think I'm pretty much done here, so I'm gonna just bring you guys closer. Here is the broth. It kind of overflowed, as you can see. Be careful, do not put it at a super high heat. We want medium all the way. My hands are clean, and I'm just going to put these in. Carefully, we place it in. This is what the duck looks like. I may need to put in a little bit more liquid. I still haven't tasted this. Hopefully this won't overflow anymore. I'm I'm done with that. The starchiness of the rice cake should make this thicker. I'm excited to see how this goes. We're going to add the fish cake a little bit later. Also make sure that the rice cake doesn't stick to the bottom. This is tteokbokki, so we do want to be stirring it and cooking it. I'm gonna kind of just break these apart. Y'all, I can already see the broth thickening up. I think I did something right. So since I used fresh rice cake, it cooks really fast. You only need to cook it until it's soft and until the broth has thickened. I'm gonna take the fish cake and I'm just going to cut them into some bite-sized pieces. This is way too long. I'm going to cut them into thirds. Ugh, it's a little frozen. I'm gonna just add them in as I go. So this is what it looks like now. I'm just going to let the fish cake cook. It looks beautiful. I just hope it tastes good. <laughs> Deeply go in. We're not gonna make the mistake of only working at the top. Make sure you're really digging through. At this point, we're just making sure that the fish cake is not cold anymore. Tteokbokki essentially should be easy to make. It's literally a snack food, but it looks like there was a lot of effort. I think it's pretty much done. I'm just going to maybe turn the heat off. I'm going to put it at its lowest setting. Mine's really thick though. I think that's fine. I don't know. As long as I can eat it, that's fine. I quickly just want to taste it. Here is the piping hot broth. Remember to blow on it. down my throat but it's not that spicy <laughs> my tteokbokki is pretty thick i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but it tastes good it tastes complex i love the soy sauce i love the sugar i love the gochujang i think it's pretty much done 
I am going to place my green onion, as you can see, like that. Oh my god, that looks really pretty. I have to show you guys. Doesn't she look beautiful? I'm just gonna kind of let the green onion cook in there. This is really thick. I mean, this is what I'm kind of familiar with, so this looks so good. I'm going to just cover this so it doesn't dry out. I've got my ice bath. The eggs are hot, so I'm using this little spider tool. There we go. I'll just rest in there. I am so eager to just eat this already. This has been a long night, but we're almost done. It looks fantastic. I kind of want to try a rice cake first. Here we go. We have a beautiful piece of rice cake. I mean, that tastes good to me. Ooh. Oh, that is a good, that is a beautiful texture. You guys, I'm really excited about this. For our first attempt, I'm pretty proud of myself, but I also think it's hard to get wrong. Again, this is also like a really common snack food that almost every Korean should know how to make. It's better late than never. The eggs, I think. Are you okay, Paul? My dog woke up from her sleep and she's just gurring right now. You good, girl? She's so cute. I think the eggs are done. I'm going to just peel them. Boiled eggs are also commonly in tteokbokki. If you don't want boiled eggs, feel free to just leave it out. I'm pretty sure the inside's cooked, so I'm just gonna toss it in. We kind of want it to warm up. There we go. Let's put you in. My hands are cold. Ah! Oh my god, I can't feel my fingers. Oh, ah, it's so cold. One more. Yay! I always put my hand in the ice bath thinking it's not going to be cold. Ah, okay. Are there no eggshells? We're fine, okay. And you go. Ah! No pain, no gain. That was honestly easier than I thought. Making sure to clean up as I go. I think I'm going to stir this around now. I'll just bring you guys closer. I'm just going to mix this around a little bit. I think this became really thick, actually. I will show you guys the final results. Here is our tteokbokki. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna serve this on a huge plate. Here's the beautiful tteokbokki. And then we will top this with fresh green onion. Here is the final product. I'm literally holding a flash. After a very long time, we are finally done with our tteokbokki. It honestly shouldn't take so long. It's a little hard for me to multitask by filming and cooking at the same time, but it's done. It kind of cooled down a bit just because I was taking a thumbnail, but I think it's still steaming. It definitely is. Here we have our tteok. I'm gonna feed you guys one. Don't worry. Here you go. Say ah. Ugh, I'm shaking. Yum. Did you eat it? Great. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to eat it. I already tasted it, but... It's kind of cold. I am yet to try fish cake. Oh, oh, that's nice. The fish cake adds a nice sweetness to this. The boiled egg is perfectly boiled. Oh, I also did have kimbap today. It is this rice roll wrapped in seaweed and it's a classic with tteokbokki. I think next time I would definitely add more water just so it has more of a soup. But she is gorgeous. Something that I like to do is dip kimbap in the soup. There's not really a lot of soup, but there's enough. And then we just eat it. Success. Well, I hope you enjoyed cooking with me. I am very glad that I had the opportunity to make tteokbokki for the first time ever. It's actually really simple to make if you have all the ingredients at home. Make sure you follow a recipe online. I'll leave a link down below to Mangshi's recipe. But that is going to be it for this video. This was meant to celebrate us reaching 500,000. That's weird for me to say. <laughs> I am grateful for you guys and everything that you guys have literally given to me. My life has changed so much. I always love making videos for you guys and cooking for you guys whenever we reach a milestone. But that is going to be it for this cooking video. Thank you for 500,000. This is a beautiful family and I will see you in my next video. You guys are kind of far from me, but I'll make it work. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends. Oh, oh my god.